press on the Michigan governor's race pitting incumbent Democrat Gretchen Whitmer against Republican challenger Tudor Dixon, showing Whitmer taking a double-digit lead. Abortion, the top issue for vo voters. That's according to that study. Again, Detroit Free Press, you see that on your screen. And with 39 days to go, there's still plenty of time, though, to make up ground before the midterms. We're joined now by Republican nominee Tudor Dixon joining us live. Tudor, good to see you, and thanks so much uh, for coming on. We appreciate that. So we showed that poll there from Detroit Free Press. What do you make of that polling? Obviously, polling changes week to week, and depending on which one's used, who's asked. What do you make of this, and what's the latest with your campaign here? Well, as you've heard across the board lately, folks are coming out, especially Trafalgar Group is coming out and saying, we don't believe that they, this polling is accurate. This is reminiscent of 2016. And what we're seeing on the ground here, the latest polls we're seeing have us in the mid single digits, which I think is very significant considering this governor and the Democrat Governors Association has spent nearly $15 million in attack ads against us. We're going to be seeing ads coming out soon, and we believe that her record is poor enough that that has kept us in the mid single digits. And once we bring those ads out, reminding and showing people what she continues to do to the state, that we'll be able to shorten that up pretty quickly and overtake her um, by election day. And that's the goal because the people of Michigan absolutely need to change. We're, we have a declining education system. We have rising crime in the state of Michigan. And we have a government that is currently attacking our businesses. The environment is not good. I wanted to uh, touch on a couple of topics with you, but I also wanted to give you an opportunity to respond to this. You're very well aware of the kidnapping plot against Gretchen Whitmer and everything that unfolded after that. There was a comment made by you in mainstream media equating to mocking the kidnapping plot. We'll play what you said and then give you a chance to respond. The sad thing is that Gretchen will tie your hands, put a gun to your head and ask if you're ready to talk. For someone so worried about being kidnapped, Gretchen Whitmer sure is good at taking business hostage and holding it for ransom. And in that moment, many critics say maybe you went too far on that. How do you respond to those critics? I would say they should talk to the people on the ground here in Michigan because I have people coming to me and honestly genuinely crying in my arms saying she took everything from me and she truly did. These are people who begged her to let them open up their businesses and she kept them shut down. She kept greenhouses shut down and one man made a very good point to me. He said, I got a note on the door of my greenhouse saying if you continue to have curbside delivery, you will face jail time. He said, but Marijuana was able to have curbside de de delivery, and I believe those two products are made the exact same way. The, she was picking winners and losers, robbing people of their livelihoods, locking them out of their businesses, and they want her to be held accountable to that. That wasn't a joke. That wasn't mocking. That was an honest discussion. And when is Gretchen Whitmer going to come out and have an honest discussion? Because she is currently hiding. The media has even come out and said she's not taking questions. Let's not forget that when she was running for vice president in the middle of a crisis, in the middle of a pandemic, she was on the national news every single day. But now that people want to know what she's actually going to do for Michigan and what her excuses are for the radical policies she had during COVID that did take businesses hostage, shut them down, and rob people people of their livelihoods. She is nowhere to be found and she has no plan going forward. She doesn't have a catchy little catchphrase to hide behind this time. We want to know what she's going to do for the state. And so far, she hasn't said a darn thing. Will there be a debate between Gretchen Whitmer and Tudor Dixon? Sadly, she has pushed the debate off to October 13th. We have early voting now. Absentee voting, absentee ballots have gone out, but she won't face the people yet. She won't face the people until a lot closer to Election Day, but October 13th and the 25th. All right. Um, we'll put that down, obviously. Yeah, very well uh, put. I wanted to ask you one more thing, if, if we have time. I just wanted to get this one. Thank you. Um, this week, you proposed a bill to keep transgender women or biological men out of women's sports. Um, how important is that to you? Talk about this legislation. About 30 seconds left for you. I have four daughters. It's very important to me. As we've seen across the country, we've had women who have lost scholarships, been kept out of college sports, had their 
their opportunities taken away from them because there's been a biological male that's decided to keep compete against them. And it's simply not fair. So for me, it's very important to stand up for women. We've fought for our rights and, and we deserve that. And you can check that program out on TudorDixon.com. All right. Uh, again, there that is. Republican nominee for Michigan Governor Tudor Dixon joining us live there. We appreciate you answering the questions and coming on. Thank you so much. You can catch Thank Tudor you. Dixon at President Trump Save America Rally.